Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Irish Sea Moss Gel as a pre-poo. Here is the gel. I made this the day before. There's a video on how I made it. I will put the link below in the description box along with the info on where I got the gel. If you are interested in purchasing it, that info is down there as well. I kept it in the refrigerator overnight and you can see how thick it is. It doesn't have much of a scent because I did add lime juice to the water while I was soaking it and it did take away some of that ocean smell. I'm going to use a spoon to scoop some out into a bowl so I don't have to dig into the jar with my fingers. And here again you can see the gel consistency. It's nice and squishy. I put about five to six spoonfuls into my bowl. And here it is. So today is wash day and I've been wearing my hair in twist as a low maintenance style for the summer since I'm not really going anywhere. And before I start to pre-poo, I just go through my hair and just try to gently remove any shedded hairs that I can find and pull out. So since my hair is low porosity, I'm going to use my spray bottle filled with warm water and just lightly mist my hair so I can open up these cuticles. And then I'm going to separate my hair into four sections. So I'm going to start in the back with that first section and mist it one more time with the warm water. And then I split that back section in half. So now I'm going to take a little bit of my CMOS gel and you can see it's very clear and in my hands it pretty much melts down to a watery like consistency. And as I apply it to my hair I can definitely feel the slip but it does feel very watery and it's easy to finger detangle. So here I'm just looking at how my hair strands look. And I gotta be honest, it makes me feel as if I am in the Atlantic Ocean somewhere because I can smell that ocean scent with a hint of lime, but it's not a bad scent. It's not like a fishy scent. It's like I'm in the ocean and it's making me wish I was at the beach right now. Thanks a lot, Rona. But I don't wanna talk about that and get my anxiety all riled up. I'll just continue to pray for all those people who have been affected by this terrible, terrible pandemic. Now on to the next section. I will say this, the CMOS gel does have slip, but it doesn't have as much slip as the aloe vera gel. And maybe that's because I put too much water in there when I was making the CMOS gel. I'm not sure, but it does have slip though. And just like the aloe vera gel, the sea moss gel has so many amazing benefits for your hair. Sea moss strengthens hair. Omega-3 fatty acids found in sea moss help in opening up your hair follicles and promote hair growth. As omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids are healthy fats, they prevent dry and flaky scalp too. It also has collagen and vitamins for hair growth. It is vitamin A that helps skin glands to produce sebum, an oily substance that keeps hair healthy and moisturizes the scalp. 
and your body requires vitamin C to create an important part of your hair structure, which is collagen. And it also has vitamin E, which also helps in increasing hair growth. But wait, there's more. Biotin is one of the best known vitamins abundant in sea moss for hair growth. Your hair needs a variety of nutrients to grow healthy hair. Irish sea moss soothes the scalp, fortifies the hair fibers, adds moisture and smoothness to your hair, strengthens your hair, and enhances shine. So as you watch me do my hair, I'm going to tell you about the other amazing health benefits sea moss has, cause your girl did her research. So sea moss helps to improve your metabolism. And metabolism is that chemical reaction that your body needs so it can break down food into energy and distribute the nutrients to the other cells. So you know the saying is when you have higher metabolism, you're able to burn calories and fat more, which means you're able to lose weight faster and keep it off. Well, I believe my metabolism died about 15 years ago. I haven't seen her or heard from her in years, but I know she's in there somewhere and I've been walking more. So I think we're getting reacquainted again. Now she may need some jumper cables to get started, but she's there. And I'm hoping this sea moss will give her some more encouragement to stick around. And for the last couple of days, I've been taking about two tablespoons of sea moss gel and mixing it with some pudding because that's all I have at the moment. And I ingest it that way to help mask some of the taste. I plan on getting some applesauce because I think I'll like that better if I mix it with that. And I heard if you do this daily, you will see a boost in your immune system and an increase in energy. Also, sea moss is an appetite suppressant and makes you feel fuller for longer. Due to the high mineral content, you may find that you won't be eating as much food and a lower calorie intake ultimately leads to weight loss. It also can help to reduce or even eliminate cravings for processed foods, trans fats, which are the bad fats, sweet foods, and caffeine. Now for all my ladies 40 and older, sea moss is wonderful for your skin. It's gentle enough to exfoliate your skin. And if you apply the sea moss gel to your skin in the evening before you go to bed, it acts as a nice face mask. And then you can wash it off the next morning with warm water and they say your skin will feel so hydrated and smooth. And over time, it also helps to reduce fine lines. So yes, loving sea moss for that. But let me go back to the immune system. Sea moss gel increases immunity and helps you recover from illness. Due to it being so rich in potassium iodide, it effectively dissolves mucus and congestion in the respiratory system. It also contains amino acids, antioxidants, and antiviral and antimicrobial properties that help ward off infections. And I think that's very important, especially during these times when you have the coronavirus going around attacking people's respiratory systems. So to me, it sounds like the sea moss gel helps to prepare your body to go to war. God forbid you should contract that virus. And last but not least, ladies, I'm gonna need you to come a little closer to the screen for this one. Iris sea moss gel helps to increase men's libido, also known as sex drive. Yes. Now, when I uploaded this video, I already checked that it wasn't for kids. So there should be no kids listening on here. And if you are on here, you need to turn it off right now. But ladies, as men get older, you know their libido decreases. And sometimes they have a little trouble, you know. Well, sea moss gel helps with that. So should that happen to my husband, I will be sneaking some into his coffee daily. I'm just letting you know. If you're interested, all you have to do is go to Google and in the search box, just type sea moss love potion recipes and you will see them pop right up. No pun intended. But on a serious note, 
if you have any underlying health conditions, before you introduce CMOS into your diet, you should consult with your doctor just to make sure it's safe. I know if you're pregnant, you should stay away from CMOS. So make sure you check with your doctor before you start any kind of CMOS into your diet if you have underlying health conditions. But ladies, I'm telling you right now, should my husband need some jumper cables? I ain't consulting with no doctor. He just gonna get it in his coffee every day. It is what it is. So if you've been watching this video, then you've seen how I've been applying it to my hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the next step. I'm going to give myself a quick scalp massage and then I'm going to apply my oil mixture on top of the CMOS gel. And then massage that into my scalp as well. Then I'm just gonna put my plastic cap on and while it's on, I'm gonna go do some exercising for about 30 minutes and try to encourage my metabolism to come out of the sunken place. And then I will rinse this out and shampoo my hair and then I'll be back. And I'm back. So it's about 45 minutes later, I shampooed my hair and rinsed out the Irish sea moss gel. And here's what my hair looks like. I wish you could feel it. It does feel very soft. It feels very moisturized. And I haven't even deep conditioned yet. But just looking at it, it may look dull on camera, but it does feel soft and moisturized. So the next step is to deep condition my hair. Now pause. Now I did not record myself deep conditioning my hair because I've done a few deep conditioning videos. So you've seen them before if you watch any of my other videos. And I used the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Deep Conditioner because I ran out of my Mish Indulge. And to be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna be buying Mish for a while because she increased her prices. I understand the economy now, I get it. However, I can't afford it, but that's another story. But anyway, after I rinsed out the deep conditioner, my hair felt so freaking soft. Softer than I've ever felt it before. Softer than when I used the aloe vera gel. Softer than when I used the indulged deep conditioner. And I think it had something to do with the sea moss gel. Even though I used it as a pre-poo, it must have soaked into those strands and then combined with that deep conditioner, it just took it to a whole nother level. So I think I'm going to apply about a tablespoon or two into my deep conditioner the next time to see if I feel a difference too. Words can't describe how soft my hair felt. It was unbelievable. So I may just go ahead and use the aloe vera gel as a pre-poo and alternate it with the sea moss gel but I think I'm definitely going to be adding the sea moss gel to my deep conditioner to see how it impacts my hair. So that's basically it. Comment below and let me know if you use sea moss gel before in your hair or if you're planning on using it and if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like and if you're not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss another one of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.